What's up guys? Today we're doing series and parallel circuits. The needed materials are both Play-Dohs, the battery packs, the multimeter, along with some lights. Now we've gone ahead and connected our circuit and gotten the conductive Play-Doh. And as you can see, when we put the probes in, to get backwards, but it's ringing up for nine. Now we've gone ahead and put a light in. You want to take note of the brightness and we're going to go ahead and check the multimeter. Still ringing 8 point. Now we're going to go ahead and add a third piece of Play-Doh. Go ahead and put one light from here to here and two from And here we go. And you want to record the brightness again. As you can see, very, very dim. Barely see any in those two. And that one's very dim as well. Now we want to check the voltage between going from the two lights. It is 2.3. And then the one light is 6.4. Now we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing, check out the brightness, and check out the volts using the non-conductive. Now here we are, and as you can see, if we check, the volts are 8.7. As we add a light, the light does not turn on due to no conductivity. And then if we go back for the volts, it is now 7.9 eight, eight, around just about. Now we've gone ahead and done the full series slash parallel circuit. We have the two lights going from here to here. The one there, and as you can see, there is no brightness at all due to, you know, it being non-conductive. But if we check the current, between the one, it is 5.5. .5. And then between the two, let's see, 2.6, 2.7. Okay, so using the results of the experiment, I think it's really safe to say we can tell how the voltage really changed we're using two lights to one light, especially just between the different Play-Dohs, depending on the conductivity and the brightness of the lights, how there's nothing on the non-conductive Play-Doh, but the conductive Play-Doh, it has quite a bit of brightness, but the brightness goes down as you add more lights and layers. I also want to talk about how Ohm's law really helps explain how this works, using the current, the equation, using the current, the voltage, all of that. And just other than that, thank you for watching.